Welcome back to the Gaming Lounge. This is Esfar, your host, and today we are going to be talking about some of the replays I did. Currently, I was able to push to 6,475 trophies, which makes me top 10,000 global. I'm ranked 9,249. Even though this is early season, it's easy. It's a lot easier to get tank, uh, top 10k early season. Um, I've been top 10k before in the past in the early season when I do really good in the early season. So uh, let's go ahead and let's review some of the replays that I did. And we'll start with this loss. Um, this Royal Recruit deck does... It's, it's, a hard, it's a hard matchup for my deck, even though I have Dark Prince and Ghost. Um, having Poison instead of Fireball, it makes it a lot harder to kill the Zappies and to kill the Piggies. And so, I go ahead and playing the P.E.K.K.A. naked like that is really never a good idea. I, I, I do it because I think it's fun, <laughs> even though it's not good. Uh, just because he's just going to roll recruits and it's just going to completely stop the P.E.K.K.A. And he's going to have Elixir to do a counter push. And I don't really have Elixir to stop the flying machine. I guess I could have played the Electric Wizard to stop it instead of taking the damage, but I decided to take the damage. Um, this matchup's is really annoying. Um, so I tried to go ahead and I just tried to spam him, but he just defends it pretty easily. Um, not much I could do. I get some chip damage, but not enough for me to, for it to be worth it. Overall, he's still really ahead in, in, in the matchup. And so much, so far he, he's pretty much won the game. There's not much I could do to, to try to bring this back. I tried to surprise him with the Elite Barbarians just by playing them to see if I could catch him off guard. But with having Zappies and Goblin Cage, she just defends it quite easily. Uh, then I, I can't take the damage, so I have to play the Dark Prince to stop the push. Uh, I'm pretty sure those Zappies probably would have taken the tower. Um, or get pretty close to taking the tower. He then just goes ahead and plays his Golden Knight to stop my Dark Prince, and he's going to use the ability. I misplayed, misplaced the P.E.K.K.A. I guess, because it still got the bounce and got onto the tower. He's just going to roll recruits, and it's going to completely stop my push. Even though I do poison, it's not going to be enough to get the P.E.K.K.A. to the tower. The P.E.K.K.A. just simply dies too fast and it's just too slow to get any damage on the tower so he did a very good job defending so good job to him i have to use the electric wizard to stop that and i go ahead and i do get on the tower but not enough damage at this point there's nothing i could do it's sudden stone i lost the game so i go ahead and play the dark prince and do the zap so that he can't do the dash ability and I have time to do one last push to see if I could get his tower so we can go into overtime. The ghost does lock on, however, nothing else is able to make it to the tower. I was able to get the tower down to 700 HP, but he's just got an errors for the win. And I had a, I did an okay job trying to come back from such a huge, um, uh, you know, he had a huge lead in the beginning. And so now we're going to go on to the next deck. Um, he is using a Double Witch Giant Balloon deck. Uh, which I thought he was playing Golem, honestly. Then he played Balloon. So I thought he was just playing some weird Valkyrie Balloon deck with the two witches. I wasn't really expecting a Giant. Um, so he does a very good job catching me surprised with a giant play so whenever i see a witch played in the back i always play poison i could have positioned the poison a lot better that wasn't the greatest position to be honest of of the poison i had to zap just so that i could my electric wizard could stop the balloon without the witch getting too much skeleton spawn I go ahead and I play the Elite Barbarians, and it's going to completely take his tower down. And uh, right now I have a giant lead. And like I said, I thought, you know, with him playing his Valkyrie at the bridge, I thought it was just a Valkyrie loon, loon deck. 
Um, I wasn't expecting a giant. I thought the Valkyrie was his tank. And then, you know, the wishes being his support units. Um, that's what I assumed. But uh, so far, um, I'm in a really good position. I knew I was going to win, um, you know, regardless of what was happening. So he plays his giant balloon at the same time I play my P.E.K.K.A. Uh, I'm not sure why he said good game. I think he realized he lost the game. And so I knew that that tower was down, but I knew I had to play the Dark Prince. If I didn't play the Dark Prince, I get three crown. Uh oh. So I had to stop the three crown. So I play the electric wizard and I know that he's not going to be able to stop it. He doesn't have Valkyrie in rotation. I'm just going to poison his queen and my P.E.K.K.A. will lock onto the tower and he doesn't have any elixir to do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just go for the three crown. He kind of gave up right here. There's not much. I mean, he could have played Valkyrie. He could have delayed it a little bit, but it was already set in stone that he lost. And my duck did counter his duck pretty hard. Uh, so it, it was a, a hard matchup for him. I'll give him that. Now, this royal giant duck does beat my duck. It does it does counter my duck. My duck, I think it's like a 60-40, a 40-60 him. With having the Dark Prince, Ghost, and Poison, it's a lot easier to get through his tombstone. Um, and it's a lot easier to kill his mother, which at the same time on killing the tombstone. The only difficulty with this version, uh, rather than regular bridge spam, Fireball is better at getting rid of Zappies. So I know that the Dark Prince would kill the Zappies and kill the Skeleton and kill the RG as my P.E.K.K.A. is able to push the right hand side. And I'm going to go ahead and play the Electric Wizard. And um, he's going to grab it with the Fisherman. And then my P.E.K.K.A. is going to kill his uh, giant Skeleton King. And right now I have a dual lane Pressure. Which is pretty good. I'm not. I, I got unlucky with the um, with the uh, Princess Tower shooting my Electric Wizard when it had one HP after I got the Zaps off. But it is what it is. I still take the tower, and I still have a pretty good lead um, with my tower at 1,556 health or 96 health. Um, his RG did do a lot, but I know that. If I keep playing aggressive, there's only a minute and a half. There's not much he can do. And I play the puck in the back because whenever I have elite barbarians in my hand as well, it's not as risky because if he tries to RG on the other side, I could just elite barbarians. And the elite barbarians will clean up the RG. Um, but I usually only do that when I have them in hand. He's going to give me really good poison value, so I'm going to have to take it. Um, that would be stupid not to take that poison damage, that poison value. And then I'm just going to kind of spam because my Dark Prince is still alive to tank. And he's not going to be able to do anything. And the reason why I'm spamming is so that he has to waste his elixir so that he can't get a RG push. But he does get a pretty good counter push from that. And he is going to play his RG. I'm going to play my P.E.K.K.A. and Electric Wizard. I should have probably Electric Wizard on top of the Fisherman. But either way, I do stop his RG, and he's not. He probably could have spell cycled me to get the draw to at least go in overtime. But I'm just gonna put so much pressure on him so that he can't cycle his fireball that he's gonna have to use his RG to take the tower, which is six elixir. But he doesn't do it, he still has to defend, and he wastes six elixir defending. I play the Elite Barbarians and I have the Electric Wizard, so if he did play the RG, I'm able to stop it. And there's not enough time for him to cycle his Fireball. So the way I played that was pretty well. I played it pretty good. And these players um, ended around 6600 last season. So they're, they're decent players. So they're pretty good players. Let's go ahead and let's watch the last replay. Luckily, I got the matchup on this. It's a Goldman matchup. And um, I was really happy because I knew I was going to win.
Uh, he plays Golem first hand, I just play Pekka first hand, and I know that with Poison and Electric Wizard, uh, I would be able to kill his support units before he could kill my support units, and that my Pekka would be able to clean up the um, Golem. Now this version is really strong against this Golem deck. Uh, Fireball is also pretty strong against fi this fire Fireball deck, but I think um, with Battle Ram, you have to kite his Elite Barbarians if he has a Elite Barbarians dual push with his P.E.K.K.A. So it could be a little bit tricky with Battle Ram because if you don't know what to do with Battle Ram, it could be an awkward cycle. But with this deck, this deck doesn't really have any awkward cycles. Uh, every single card is good for counter defense and counter attacks. And so that's why I've been playing this deck and I've been having a lot of fun with this deck. I just wasn't having fun with the original burst spam with Magic Archer and Battle Ram. Uh, but this one I've been having a blast. Uh, the the Lava Hounds are kind of hard. I have to just go for the three crown and play opposite lane. But it's it makes the matchup a little bit more fun and it makes it a little bit more of a base race, which I don't mind. So I go and I do take the zap because I wanted the Elite Barbarians to take the tower. I think they would have took the tower regardless, but I mean... Doing the zap, it makes it so I could cycle it out, and it was it was pretty good. Zap's not since he doesn't have scar me, zap's not too important in this matchup, and, and, and securing a tower was worth the two elixir I spent. Now, it's just going to be rinse and repeat of what he did last time. Uh, he's not going to be able to do anything, so I play the ghost on the left hand side, predicting that he was going to do elite barbarian push, which he doesn't. Um, I just go ahead and play the Electric Wizard, and then with the Poison, it does so much damage and slows everything down to where I don't have to worry about the Bomber. And I can play the Dark Prince to stop the Bomber, as my Royal Ghost is already on the three, uh, on the King Tower, and the Dark Prince tickets a hit. And at this point, the game's over. I'm just going to spam everything in the pocket. And that's going to be game. He already gave up, which I would have given up as well. I don't blame him. It's a horrible matchup for him to fight my deck. My deck's like an 80-20 on this matchup against that version of Gold. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoy these this video. And as I said, I am top 10K, 9,259, um, which is always fun to have that rank next to a name, even though it's early season. Well, I hope you guys keep on clashing, and hopefully um, we could push to 7k plus this season. This season's been really fun, and it's been really good, and um, I'll catch you on to the next video.